Welcome back. Thank you for joining us again. We're continuing our discussion on the resurrection at Easter. And I am Minister Sherry Knox. I am Minister Lonnie Harris. And this time around, we're going to talk about Easter, mm -hmm. that word Easter. So just in some research that I have done, because we, we go back and forth with that in, in the house of God. Um, I, and as a child, it was Easter. I never knew. You heard resurrection, but I didn't hear that Sunday uh, coined resurrection Sunday till I got older. Um, so then I began to think, well, why don't we say Easter? Like, what's the problem? So Easter is also known as Pascha, or mm. Pascha, mm -hmm. P-A-S-C-H-A, mm -hmm. ever how you pronounce that. Um, and historically, it was a, a pagan celebration of fertility, yeah. the fertility god. And so, um, and some R-rated, some rated R things that occurred during that time yep. of the pre-Christian goddess. And her name is spelled E-O-S-T-R-E. -E, so I guess that's the, their pronunciation, pronunciation is Easter okay. for that name. But she was celebrated at the beginning of spring. Okay. So we also mark, you know, resurrection around the time of the beginning of spring, Correct. right? Because yes. we, we now hear the birds chirping in the morning. Pollen has began to fall. Definitely. Grass is coming back. Mm -hmm. We see some flowers. There's some tulips outside. So it's all in the same. Um, but at some point, the Christians began to call the resurrection Easter. Um, Easter also had a meaning celebrating the resurrection, but not celebrating it in the way that we celebrate it. Celebrating it in we're glad it was done. Okay. So um, those are some meanings that were that have been attached to Easter. Okay. And so we just bring that up because we want, as Christians, we want you to know why it is we do what we do. Yeah. So whether we say resurrection or Easter, we're celebrating the resurrection of our Savior. Yeah. I think Dr. Lynch spoke uh, a few weeks ago in Bible study as he talked about traditions mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. understanding, like you said, why we do what we do. Yeah. A lot of times things, unfortunately, are just handed down yeah. from one no generation to the next generation. Absolutely. No one's questioning no. it. Right. No one says, hey, you know what? What? what, what? No one does research. Mm -hmm. You know, no one's, you know, looking deeper into right. origin into any of those types of things. Grandma so, told me. I, I, always, <laughs> always. And, and you know, we didn't question. You know, yeah. if you find yourself questioning, then you're being mouthy and disrespectful. Yeah. You know, that's that's <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's exactly what it was for, for, for people uh, of our generation. Yeah. Absolutely. It was, hey, don't don't be disrespectful. Mm -hmm. You know, and, well, you're doing it because I told you to do it. That's it. it. That, that was the end of the discussion. That's it. Um, but I think, it's, I think it's very important for us to understand, you know, where origins come from, come yeah, where from? things yeah. come from. Yeah, absolutely. Especially if you're talking about, as you said, you know, I understood, you know, there was some pagan element to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, understood that there was certainly some fertility, the goddess right. of fertility to it, mm -hmm. um, which is which was the reason behind eggs and those types and of things. And the bunny. Okay. The bunny. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And so all of those things play into Easter. Mm -hmm, yeah. Because mm -hmm. the eggs, so since we're talking about that, the eggs, remember, you know, everything, a woman has an egg that's fertilized. So that's where the eggs came from. Okay. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Yeah. But be that as it may, we uh, celebrate the resurrection. Correct. Right. Yeah. Um, so for me, one year, and this has been many, many years ago, I wanted to try and start a new tradition in my family it had not been done before. And I just wanted to, you know, I guess you'd say try it out. So we historically, when my kids were small, we were gone every holiday mm -hmm. except for Father's Day. Um, we were gone and we were at the beach. And so I woke up early that morning. We, I said, we're going to do a little sunrise service. This was before I became a minister, but I, I felt the calling. And so I read the, well, we got, we got up and everybody came to the table. And we went in the Bible and we read from, you know, the betrayal to, you know, through the, the suffering mm -hmm. and the resurrection. And we did that, and I, I wanted to know if they had any questions. Of course, they were all sleepy. So <laughs> nobody had any questions. It was, can we go back to bed? But that was one that one way that we uh, celebrated one year. And I, I'm just curious to know, do you and your family, do you and your family have a way that you guys uh, communicate about the resurrection? What does that mean in your family? Yeah, yeah. I think um, I, I will say that my wife and I do not specifically have one. But I will say that in her, within her own family, mm -hmm. you know, her mother, my mother-in-law, her sister, um, nieces and nephews, that family, I often see um, just the teaching of, okay. you know, the importance of these types of holidays, wow. resurrection. Um, again, still not downplaying Easter. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even know if the truth behind Easter has been told and right. taught at this point. 
but just the significance of yeah. resurrection yeah. is certainly something that um, my mother-in-law continues to stress, you know, to, to the grandkids. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I can certainly commend her. I'm going to ask her, Mimi, if you're watching this, <laughs> I commend you. Uh, I'll continue to teach and share with yes. Jordan and, and Sean yes. on the importance of not just Easter, but all of the holiday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... In your own life, would you say, because you can also look at, since we're talking about rebirth and, and newness and, and spring and, 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 and the risen Savior, would you, can, do you have some areas in your life where you feel like um, there, there needs to be a laying down and a, and a, and a rising up? Absolutely. Okay. I'm 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 a flawed Christian. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm ahead of you in that line. Yeah, I'm a, I am a flawed yeah. believer. Yeah. And so there is absolutely 100% something that what I we can die to. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Come on. We we can we can die to. Mm -hmm. We can continue to grow mm -hmm. in whatever area that may mm -hmm. be. Mm -hmm. Um not, I, I won't go on into detail, right, right, you right. know, but it's there's personal. absolutely things that I say, I must say, hey, listen, and I think this is what the significance of resurrection is all about, because it is the death come of Jesus, come on, come on. but also it is then the resurrection mm -hmm. to this, from this fleshly man to mm -hmm. this new spiritual being. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so in our own individual lives, it's okay, where can I die to Lonnie? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where can Lonnie begin to crucify and to get rid of attitudes, Come on now. dispositions, yeah. faults, actions? Come on now. What is it that Lonnie yes. can do uh -huh. in this process Come on now. so that the new man Come on now. can be resurrected? Mm -hmm. That new spiritual Lonnie mm -hmm. can be resurrected. And, and, and exemplify more of Christ. Did y'all hear this sermon? Now he just he just preached, <laughs> huh? I wish I had a organ, right? <laughs> but that, but that, but I think that's that. Those are good points to make, and certainly um, it's a challenge. It, it definitely, it's. This is what I tell people, uh, Minister Sherry. Our flesh wants what it wants. It wants all the time. It wants. It it enjoys what it does. It enjoys. If we if we sit here and say we did not enjoy the scenes that Come we were on once now. involved in, we we're, we're telling a lie. I ain't the truth. And the I truth is. is not close <laughs> to being <Anna. laughs> And so what happens is our flesh becomes yes. comfortable yes. with those activities, so whatever they may be. So that you they they're trying to make you feel uncomfortable for doing the right thing. Absolutely. And ultimately what what because what it is is we're in bondage. Yes. Yes. We're in bondage yeah. to that scene. Yeah. We're in bondage to those thoughts. We're in bondage to whatever it may be, those actions. And so the flesh does not want to willingly stop doing those now. things. Because what, what, what the spirit is willing. Absolutely. Oh, but, the, but the flesh, the flesh is, is weak. weak. That flesh is weak. Mm -hmm. That flesh is saying, look, I enjoy doing this. Mm -hmm. I enjoy, I'm enjoy. i enjoying this you, lifestyle. You, you said we got to clean up our act. <laughs> this is not what we do. We, I, don't, we don't clean up our act. <laughs> the flesh said, look, you signed up for this. I didn't I did, sign up for I this. I didn't pay. Hey. Yes, the flesh. I didn't hey. sign up for this. Hey. I didn't sign up to live for Christ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was your spirit man that's that signed up for that. That's what, absolutely. That's your absolutely. Way. Absolutely. And so we still involved with that struggle, yes. that war that Paul talks about in so many times in Romans. Mm -hmm. You know, that struggle, that back and forth yes. between flesh and spirit. That's the thing that I would do. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. No, the thing that I would not do. That I find that, myself doing. I find myself doing, doing absolutely. Because when, uh, what do you say, when good, when, when say evil is all around me. Yeah. Yeah, always present. Ah, it's an old wretched man that I am. That I am. Who can deliver me from this mm. body of death? See, mm. Paul understood that there's something inside of me that's fighting that spirit man. And then he say, within me there dwelleth no good thing. No good thing. Lord have mercy. Yeah, absolutely. He's talking about himself. <laughs> He's talking about <laughs> Paul. Yes. That's what I love about Paul, yeah. Mr. Sherry. That Paul was just so honest. He's if right. I can't find a better word. I mean. Yeah, he was. He was just blatantly honest about this is who I am. Mm -hmm. This is my struggle. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, at, I'm at a war with myself, with, with my own self, <laughs> absolutely. And so that's what res resurrection centers and focuses around. Yeah. All of those encompasses yeah. all yeah. of those things because we are constant as believers. We are in a daily, daily Come battle, on. which is Come why on. Paul said, "I die daily," I die daily. because he yeah. had to die. His flesh had to die daily. daily. Absolutely. And, and, and we ain't even gonna talk about the thorn in his flesh. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on yeah. Now. Correct. I got you mean Tim, I gotta deal with all of that and the thorn. Come on, Jesus. 
Hey, help me, help <laughs> me, Lord. Something. Help me, Lord. You know? Yeah. But, so um, on this matter, my closing thoughts would be just, you know, for you at, at home and, and me and Lani, as we have said, we, you know, what are some things that you know about? You're mm. very aware yeah. of some things that you need to lay down mm -hmm. and die to. We know it's going to be a struggle. It is. And, 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 but we encourage you in this moment to be so worth it. Yeah. For you to be honest with God, hey, God, I, I'm doing such and such and such and such. Or I'm having these thoughts. I need you to help me. Be honest with the Savior. Come to yourself. Yeah. Be honest with the Savior. You ain't gotta. You ain't gotta put it out there on Facebook or IG or anywhere else. It's just you and God. Yeah. This is this is a mighty good season to have some. And a pastor I used to uh, be under, he said, there are some habits we need to, some things we need to stop, and some habits we need to drop. Mm -hmm. And I think that applies. And this was twenty years ago. That applies even now. Yeah. My closing thoughts, Minister Sherry, um, is be honest with yeah. yourself. Yeah. Do a spiritual inventory. Come on now. This is not this. I, I'm, I'm not just talking about you. This, me as well. You know, we need to do a spiritual inventory. You know, and assess our own lives and see. Come on now. Come where on it now. lines up with this. With this. And where it may not line up with mm -hmm, this. Mm -hmm. And in those areas where it may not line up with this, mm -hmm. those are that those rooms and those places that we have to then stop doing. Come on now. We have to die to. We have to, uh, and, and as you said, it's not an easy process. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a day-by-day -day process. Again, which is why Paul continued to say, I die daily. It's something that every morning we wake up and say, Lord, I'm struggling with this. Yes. I'm dealing with this. Help me this day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, not tomorrow. Not, like not tomorrow. <laughs> Help me this day to talk right, to walk right, to live right, to think right, to be what you are calling me to be. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what resurrection is all about. He came, he, he, he gave his life, he suffered, bled, and died, resurrected on that third day for our lives. For our lives. That we might have a, a right to eternal life. But not only that, but that we might also live a right life. Come on now. Even here on earth. Yeah, before we even get there. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, join us next week as we wrap up our discussion of Easter, the resurrection, and all of those things. And uh, thank you for sharing your time with us. We look forward to you coming back next week as we wrap up this discussion on Easter, the resurrection. In the meantime, I am Minister Sherry Knotts. I'm Minister Lonnie Harris. And we'll be talking to you soon. God bless you.